And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, I'm Tom Vassell. No question, one of the most popular games that came out in 2019, and even though it came out at the very, very beginning, is Wingspan. Very uh, loved game, a different kind of theme about birds. People were really excited about it. It's been winning awards, and for good reason. And now there's an expansion. The European expansion. We figured there'd be expansions, right? Considering most of the birds in Wingspan were from North America, and we expected to see other ones. Now, I won't lie, I had hoped for, like, a, for, I'm from North America. So something like Africa or Asia or Australia would have felt very exotic, I suppose. But this is still different birds than in the first one. And honestly, I could almost sum up the expansion by just saying, more birds. Now there's a little more to it than that, but here's the thing, this does not change up the game much at all. Uh, it adds more birds, it adds a few minor things. And yet, there's one, something about it I want to point out. Let's take a look. So first of all, when you open this up, you're going to get some purple stuff. Uh, you get one of these really cool containers, the Stonemeyer containers, with purple eggs, which really don't serve any purpose other than there's just more eggs in the game now, and you can mix them with your other colored eggs. There's also more food comes with the game, so you'll never run out of food. Then you have a purple container here, which is uh, where all the cards of this expansion come in. You see they don't really fill up the set, but there are too many cards to put into the original container. So because of that, unless you ditch the container, which is a sad thing to do, uh, you're going to have to keep everything in this expansion box. However, I suspect, I might be wrong, but I suspect that you will be able to keep this expansion and maybe the next expansion in one expansion box. We'll have to wait and see. Let's take a look at some of these new cards. So first of all, there's a new kind of card called round end cards on the birds. And these birds uh, will do something at the end of a round. So most are gonna go off four times over the course of the game. But like here, you can discard up to five worms for each one. You tuck a card underneath it. Tuck three cards from your hand behind this bird and draw one for each. So some of the round ends are more powerful. They're obviously gonna cost more, maybe be worth fewer points. Like the gray lag goose here, cost three grain. Give seven points, and at the end it counts double towards the end of round goal if it qualifies for the goal. It may or may not qualify, but that's a neat thing. So some of them give you an action, and some kind of have a something set in place. Lay one egg on this bird for each other bird with this kind of nest that you have. So they're very specific, but it is neat at the end of a round. You're like, all right, who has any round end things? And you make them go off. There are also cards that can be played different ways rather than paying the food. So this one costs mice, but instead of each mouse, you can pay a card from your hand and then tuck those underneath it. So he'll eat mice or other birds. So there's a couple ones like that. There's also ones that can be played on top of another bird. I guess they eat that bird and then and you get more points and you discard eggs and food, but it becomes a tuck card underneath this bird. There's also cards, and these are really neat, that you play them sideways, so they cover two spaces. So there's a, several of these birds. I think that's a neat idea to be able to place it covering up two spots on your board. That's a, this, something that didn't even occur to me, and I think is a neat concept to add to the game. Then after that, there's just a pile of, I guess, quote-unquote normal cards. You know, some that let you draw bonus cards, and then this lets you get a card or lay an egg on any bird. Some neat stuff like that. Uh, here... When someone else tucks a card, you can also tuck a card. Here, when activated, discard all the cards and refill the tray and then draw one of the new cards. So there's a lot of these cards that I call them the mooch cards. You know, if someone else does something, you get to do it too. If someone else gains food, you also gain food. But there's also neat things like when activated, lay an egg on each bird in this com, including this one. And so there's a lot of cool ones. And of course, as we're going through here, you can see the different artwork that's on these cards too. So all sorts of neat I didn't even, I never even heard of this bird before, um, but it's cool. This one here, choose a food. Everyone gets a food from the supply. That's pretty cool. You're helping everybody else out, and it's seven points and can hold five eggs. So lots of new variety amongst all these cards. There's also more new bonus cards. You look at one habitat, and you get two for each of the power colors, birds with tuck cards, birds with three different power colors, costs of food, and they give you these percentages. I should say, by the way, I'm assuming, I haven't done the math, but I, if I know anything about uh, Stonemaier games, they probably did it, with that the percentages from the original game still work with all the new cards added on those. The biggest change in this game, maybe not for most people, but for me, there are now some new bonus tiles that you can use. The original bonus tiles, 
all had a very similar feel to him. And this game recommends that if you're going to use these bonus tiles, that you play with the green side. I like playing with the green side anyway. But they do neat things like cards with no powers on them, uh, cards with brown powers, the food that you have left over, cards in your hand, the food cost of all your played birds, birds with tucked cards, birds with no eggs, birds that are worth more than four points, birds in one row, and filled columns. This is neat. I love these. They really shake up that the, the different goals at the end of each round feel different. And for me, this was easily the coolest part of this game, uh, this expansion. It adds some other things. You got a new score pad that talks about the new stuff, some cards that will explain various things, and then a little end of round reference card, which is here just so you know how the end bird powers or the ones that happen between rounds go on. So that's kind of a just a nice little thing to add. It also comes with a rule book here, which just explains, I mean, look at this. This is all the new stuff, really. And then the rest of it just explains all the different birds and explains how they work. Pretty simple. And also there's a few things added for the uh, Automa expansion. There you go. That's what's in this one. Okay, at the end of the day, this is more birds. I mean, that's really what it is. It's, um, but. What I like about this is, first of all, I can add this expansion into the base game, play with people who never played Wingspan before. I, I have to teach an end of round bird thing. That's it. That's, who cares? They, they wouldn't even notice, and I think I would like it more because it gives more variety. This is easily mixable in the main game. So like I said, for me, those extra goals, that's fantastic. I love those extra goals. I love mixing them in. Like sometimes I felt like the original ones, that was my one maybe weakness with the game. It was like, oh, round one, we're looking for eggs in this kind of nest. And round two, we're looking for eggs in this. And now, no eggs. Well, that's interesting. Most food left over. Suddenly it's like, whoa, I was going to spend food to put out another bird, but I want to win this bonus. I like that. I also like all the new birds. Now, the first time I played this, I uh, stuck in all the, the new birds on top right? Because you want to see the new birds. And you can play a, a whole game with just the new birds, probably. You may run out, you may not. But the fact is, they work really well mixed in. They do. And those end of rounds, they're neat, but it, it's neat to see them come up. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the percentages are the same for the different goal cards. And just having a huge variety of birds, I mean, the game was already a big game, where every turn you just deal with the birds that come out. Wingspan is, here's the birds that are available, how can you make a cool engine with them? This adds and changes and does all kinds of cool things. I personally like the bird you can play on top of another bird because it gives you a tucked card. You can put out a cheap bird that might give you a when played aspect and then cover it up and get the points that are on top of the other one. I like that idea. I like the birds that give you something when other people take actions. That's a, a nice thing. Then there's even a couple cards in here that I, I guess are quote unquote mean. Like one lets you steal a food from somebody else, but then that person gets to take a dive food from the the birdhouse. So it's not that mean. And they'll probably get maybe they'll get something they want better. And so wingspan. This is if you like wingspan, you're gonna love this expansion. If you don't really care for wingspan, this ain't gonna change your mind. I think wingspan is a fantastically fun game. This, while on the onset, again is just more birds. That doesn't mean that's a bad thing. Sometimes simpler is better. Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching another Dice Tower video. If you enjoy our videos, subscribe to the channel for more fun, comprehensive board game coverage. Also, consider joining us at one of our events. Come to Dice Tower Retreat, a small, intimate gathering where gaming is king. Join us for Dice Tower Cruise, the largest board game cruise. Attend Dice Tower West in Las Vegas for gaming fun on the West Coast or Dice Tower East in Orlando in sunny Florida. Dice Tower Conventions, the friendliest gaming conventions on Earth. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.